waking it up with big old mess make sure to subscribe like comment and ring that bell panties off put on some clean panties without getting in a motherfucking shower and woke up the next day in the same shit she slept in you can't tell me your pussy ain't stinking or your panties weren't dirty for you to go home and change them and wake up the next day with them same change panties on without fucking with the water i don't understand it I can't understand it. It's impossible to understand it. You change. What did you change your underwear for? If you want to go fuck with the water. Talk about you. Oh, bitch, you owe your panties an apology. You put on them clean ass yannies and then wash that dirty ass coochie. You needed brakes and rotors and just changed your brake pads, bitch. Oh, me, oh, oh, you shit. You owe your panties an apology, bitch. You need to apologize for putting that stinky, dirty, nasty ass, gay nine ass coochie all in them motherfucking clean yanties, bitch. Yo, you wanna fuck Yetta? I want fuck yet or with your dick. Get your dirty. I ain't fucking no bitch. That's cool. I ain't dating a bitch or talking to a bitch that I can tell don't take a shower for three days because I want your pussy to stink. And she did it. A nigga told her don't shower for 72 hours and she did it. And got fucked with that same coochie even though she couldn't take a dookie. You in the bathroom watching a bitch dookie and hiding the toilet paper because you want her to smell like shit. When you put your yenus inside of her, gone. Pissing on people porches and shit. Pissed on a nigga. You got kicked out for peeing outside. Bitch, you could have went to jail for that, bitch. The police catch you peeing outside. Yo, that's your bitch. Hmm. These are facts. These are motherfuckers y'all following. We watch this bitch ebb. Get on live. Goddamn. Turn her camera to the side. And wait 10 to 13 more minutes and light up the same goddamn. Bitch, you smoking your cigarettes in increments because you ain't got a whole pack over there. You digging in an ashtray to get your nicotine fixed and you want me to respect you as a 24K host. I'm over here telling KOB, quit smoking. That motherfucker hit a cigarette two times and throw it. I said, what you throw it for? You should have put that out and say, and fuck that cigarette. And go buy another pack for motherfucking nine, ten dollars. You over there smoking them past the green line. You know what cotton tastes like, bitch. You smoking your cigarettes to the cotton. Wonder why you got a headache. I'm finna get off y'all. You dizzy, bitch. That bitch don't be sleepy. She be dizzy from smoking goddamn cigarette butts. Made up a whole bunch of lies on me. I was in the lady live and I'm in Blanco. I was in Blanco live. And a nigga wanted to roast me. And I said, let's roast for a hundred. You send a hundred, I send a hundred. I sent a hundred to Blanco. He said, keep that, fuck that nigga. Keep his money, I ain't send this shit. So I asked her to send my money back. She went and made a whole fabricated story talking about, I told her send me my hundred back because she dubbed me. And I ain't know what dub mean because she didn't want to be with me. And I got 521 receipts. I counted them. Of how you a trick. 
She take pictures for you in lingerie and shit because you cash her out. She ain't never seen you in real life. You just one of her tricks. These are facts. She want me to meet her in Miami with tripolar. I ain't never met him. I ain't never did nothing with him. He just cashed me out and I la la la. Bitch, wake it up on that before you go live talking about you dub. You ain't dub shit because I show your messages, bitch. You was all over the pastor. You was all over me. Fuck is you talking about? I was telling you I'm cool. Go ahead and move how you move and go ahead. Oh, yeah. Send me a kiss right now. Blow me a kiss right now. You better blow me a kiss right now. Go live and say I'm lying, bitch. I'm going to show your receipts. Quit playing with me. Don't mention my name. Boy, sit down. No wonder you ain't want to eat Yetta's pussy. You wanted a whole goddamn yeenus in your mouth, a lollipop gangster ass nigga. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop ass nigga? Fuck is you talking about? Ari said, and then you tried to check Ari like you said I did this. Like, yeah, I did try to bottom you, but I told him it didn't fit. Oh, right, right, right. You heard me. You heard me. You really tooted your thing up and let Ari spit start your booty hole and Ari's penis wouldn't fit in it. Don't tell me Ari tried to goddamn Sahara Desert you or, and rubbed it on your... You know what Ari spit feel like on your booty hole. Went down there and licked on it and still then, boy, use a bottom and a half fuck is you talking you tried bottomism before all that motherfucking goddamn top shit you was spitting you sucked ari's penis in jesus name shut up you wonder why that motherfucker stabbed you you bet not had to show it up to court you deserve to get stabbed if a motherfucker done put a uh, yenis tip all in your booty hole you can't be mad at your spouse Motherfucker tried to fuck you in a booty before. You deserve whatever the fuck they do to you in Jesus' name, bitch. All that tough ass, you heard me. You heard me. Fuck this white bitch. I see why you dog Yetta. Yetta didn't have a yenis. Yetta, a strap on would have saved your relationship. If you would have just went to Cirilla's, if you just went to the adult bookstore and bought you a strap on, you would not be single today, bitch. Keep on trying to get this nigga yussy. He don't want that. Nigga want some dick. Yeah, I did reach out to Turk. I want to be a rapper, boy. Yo verse is different from the ones that they rap with. This gay ass nigga trying to be a gangster rapper. I know you fucking lying. He called Ari. You hear me? Ari got on there. You said that I was a bottom. Like, no, I did tell him I tried it before and it wouldn't go in. Oh, oh, okay. You heard me. You heard me. All right, you heard me. Yes, we heard you. You tried to take a whole mandingo. <laughs> Ari was too big for him. Promise you. Ari came with that pipe for that nigga. That pussy was, that clitoris was big as hell, wasn't it? You can take that clitoris in your booty, you burst ass nigga. <laughs> Ari got big clitoris. That part. <laughs> you let a motherfucker get behind you and pumps in a bump you in. <laughs> Boy, sit down. Big old career canceled? Promise you. <laughs> Return to sender, huh? Ah! <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker put a whole got jabbed you with a whole goddamn stab and goddamn counsel. Motherfucker stabbed all on you. You put him in jail and waited for him to get out. You left yo bitch soon as that motherfucker got out. You couldn't wait. I bet you was fucking on Yetta thinking about uh, Ari the whole time. You was getting your motherfucking P's and Q's off. You was dotting your I's and crossing your T's thinking about Ari while you was behind Yetta. You left that bitch too easy for y'all to really be in love with your get duet doing ass. What the fuck is you talking about? 
You thought motherfucking uh, Yetta could sing like Alicia Keys. You thought she wouldn't tell your secrets. Nope. What fuck is you talking about? Yetta, all you had to do was put a finger in his booty. You would still be in a relationship today. I know you sick. As fuck. Read the shit out of Turk, didn't he? He was reading Turk to the max when Turk was on there. You bitch ass. Then all his motherfucking uh, diss tracks start with you faggot ass nigga. You boy, you getting fucked in the ass with just a tip. Motherfuckers putting the tip in your booty. You know what the mushroom feel like going inside your ass. <sniffs> Ari had to stop. You kept on. <sniffs> Gone. We see why you was wearing yet a robe and shit. We know you was thinking about Ari. You kept on trying to switch to the goddamn female side. He came on with that silk robe with nothing but roses on it. Look at him. You got on. Look at you. I said Ari got to have a phone in the county. Ari in central booking with a whole goddamn phone. This motherfucker is trying to turn Ari on. Look at you. Now y'all happy as fuck. You can find a new house and shit. Did they call you about the new house? I'm like, look at you think it and you think it's cool. I said, this gotta be an LGBT app. This shit accepted. And I don't laugh, bitch, because a lot of y'all wanna fuck on these gay niggas on my kids. Y'all be infatuated with it. Don't think that they came out the closet like that because uh no. Because they used to be in the closet because nobody accepted it. They are scared to get their ass whooped. All of y'all, don't talk about them. Don't do that. And don't shut up, bitch. You single as hell. You mad as fuck. You can't find a man. Because the man of your dreams is laying with another man. And some of y'all are still in his inbox trying to fuck on him. Because y'all want to have a threesome with two men. You want them to get nasty. You want to see them suck each other and all type of shit. You nasty ass. Ass bitches, I promise you, because I don't want to mention nobody, you boss boy. Ass bitches want to see some gay shit go on in real life. It turn y'all on. Boss Barbie says she want two gay niggas to dog walk.